Eversource is, is installing an electric transmission line under South Street and West Main Street. Uh, this project does require trenching for the placement of the line. During off hours, similar to any other road project where you have openings, street openings, sorry, um, the trenches are covered by steel metal plates. The contractor has really been a bad neighbor. Who's the contractor? Um, forget the name. United yeah, United Civil. Okay. Yeah, they have failed to secure the trenches several times, causing damage to automobiles or vehicles using these roadways. Uh, and in fact, most recently, they even dug up the wrong section of the road. Instead of digging up West Main, they dug up Lamba Street. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and they use Google Maps. Y yes, <laughs> and, and, and following these multiple violations, the DPW director, John Westerling, has issued a stop work order to the contractor. And that's, that's where we are now. Perfect. Yeah. The hearing was held um, pursuant to a notice and order to show cause issued on August 2nd, 2019 by the town's Department of Public Works to Eversource. Eversource and the town of Hopkinton recently had a hearing. Town manager Norman Kamalu explained why. In that notice and order, uh, it is alleged that excavation by Eversource and United Civil on South Street and West Main Street was not performed in accordance with the Massachusetts Trench Safety Statute and the conditions that were attached to the permit, the street opening permit issued by the town. The major issue with the project was the steel plates that were used, the town manager explained. There were several instances in which the steel plates that Eversource's contractor had used to cover the open trenches after their day's work became dislodged. And this happened several times. We received complaints from motorists. And in fact, one of the town vehicles were damaged by one of the steel plates. And that's why then the Director of Public Works decided to um, start a process for revoking those street opening permits that had allowed that work to proceed. In a rare circumstance, Town Manager Norman Kumalu became the moderator of the hearing. Can you explain uh, what led you to um, moderating the hearing and where the process is currently at? Yes, I was actually the presiding officer for the simple reason that uh, John Westerling, uh, the Director of Public Works, who normally would be the presiding officer, was actually a witness in the case. And so we had to look for and identify somebody else here in town to be the hearing officer. The decision about the issue was made in late August. In fact, uh, I, I have already issued the decision. The decision was issued on August 27th, 2019. Um, and in, in summary, here, here's what the decision says. Um, number one, uh, I, I found, I, I did find that the, uh, the Eversource contractor had violated the town's uh, state opening permit conditions uh, and therefore were at fault uh, for what happened to the steel plates. I also found that uh, Eversource had taken the necessary steps whenever the town had pointed out uh, the instances when the uh, plates became dislodged, uh, necessary steps to rectify the issue. However, I also ruled that uh, the Director of Public Works should ask Eversource to submit a new plan which will not include the use of steel plates to cover the trenches. And then finally, I also ordered that the record and the findings of this report be submitted to the Board of Selectmen. 
All right, so is the next step for them just to kind of submit that new plan without the steel plates? Yes. 